Hello everybody. We are still talking about sound and noise in the workplace. One of the fundamental methods for protecting workers from noise and uh, excess noise exposure is to move them away from the source of the noise. Sound, uh, radiation, several other physical properties are all governed by the law of inverse squares which for our purposes at this time simply says that as you move away from an energy source the magnitude of that energy will decrease further away you are from the sound source lower the magnitude of the sound that workers um, experience further away from the source lower the worker exposure in this video tutorial, I want to show you a quantitative method for calculating the change in noise exposure as we have a change in distance from the sound source. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this problem and we'll get started. I'll show you the formula and we'll work it out. We have a machine with a sound level of 77 decibels when the worker is 60 feet from that machine. What is the sound level if the worker relocates to a position 120 feet from the machine? Again, we're uh, workers 60 feet from the machine. They're exposed to 77 decibels. We move them further away, or they move further away to a distance of 120 feet. What is the decibel level exposure in that position? And this formula can help us calculate that. Go ahead and write out the formula. And I will explain what all the different variables mean after I get everything written out. And that's supposed to be D sub zero, not do. But I'll, let's go through it uh, variable by variable. Uh, dB sub 1, that is the sound level at distance 2 after we make the move. This is what we're calculating. So dB sub 1 is the sound level at the second distance. dB sub 0 is the original sound level. 20 is a constant, and logarithm or log is a mathematical function that you're probably pretty familiar with by now. Uh, then in parentheses or brackets, we have d sub 0, which is the original distance from the sound. Then we have d sub 1, which is the distance after we've relocated, distance from the sound after we've relocated. Go ahead and plug everything in. Okay. The original sound level is 77 decibels at 60 feet. So we plug in 77 plus 20 log. Now we, we want d sub 0, which is the original distance, which is 60 feet. Then d sub 1 is the relocation distance, 120 feet. Sixty divided by one twenty. Equals point five. So now we want to take the logarithm of point five, but let me go ahead and write out the next iteration here. The log of 0.5 is negative 0.3. It's actually negative 0.301, and I'm just going to round it to negative 0.3. Okay, 
Now 20 times negative 0.3. equals negative six. Now the last step is just doing that addition there. 77 plus negative six equals 71. So by going from 60 feet to 120 feet, the worker has reduced their noise exposure by six decibels, simply by uh, making that move, that jump in distance. And another thing is illustrated here. Uh, we'll talk about it in class. In fact, by the time you, you see this video and you do the practice problems, we probably already have talked about the rule of six. This is a real good illustration of the rule of six. I'm not going to go into the rule of six in this video, but the rule of six is a uh, more of a commonsensical non-quantitative method for estimating the increase or decrease in sound level based upon distance from the source. Another thing I'll say about this, I'm only going to show you this example, but if we were moving closer to the sound source, the formula would also apply. And as we move closer to the sound source, the decibel level exposure is going to increase. Yep. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in class and I will see you in the next video tutorial.